J Y. Backer G B A K I R T J Y. Um, so I was sitting in my living room and I heard like a rapid fire burst of what I wasn't sure if it was gunshots or fireworks, and then I heard a second shorter one and then a third long one, and. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was fireworks or gunshots, and then all of a sudden helicopters started swooping in from everywhere, and I went to my window to look, and then fire trucks started pulling up, and I kind of figured out something serious was probably going on, so I came down here to find out. Is this you've ever heard in your city No, this is a really quiet neighborhood, and uh, it's somewhere you can feel safe walking around at night. There's never anything crazy that happens here. It's really quiet. Uh, it, well, the reason I came out is it freaked me out because I wanted to know what had happened so I could go to bed and know that I was safe to, you know, nothing else crazy was going to happen. But now that you see this? Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of upsetting. Um, it's, I saw the stretchers go out and um, that really concerned me. Like, I don't know, you know, what the situation was, but uh, just seeing people carried out on stretchers, it's not a good situation. No. Um, your family contacting you or anything? Have you uh, my family is uh, in the in Illinois, so I let them know what's going on, but they're asleep. So I haven't, you know, texted a few friends, but um, I mean, I haven't been able to find out too much of what was going on, like online. So I'm kind of letting people know I'm okay. Um, okay, 
Can you give me your first and last name? Can you spell it, please? My first and last name, Sarah Galdamez, S-A-R-A, no H, and last name G-A-L-D-A-M-E-Z, like zebra. Uh, well, you know, you, you come here, you're coming, you told me you're coming from, uh, uh, from someone's house and all, you come home and you mm -hmm. find this, you hear what's happening, what comes through your mind? Um, the first thing is, was there any injuries um, here in North Hollywood? It's this is the district area, the Noho district area. So it's very calm. We really don't see much chaos going on. So having police, having helicopters, having the streets just completely on lock was alarming to me because, you know, tragedies really don't occur here. It's not very common to see it. It's kind of like the suburbs of LA. You really don't see it going on. So to me, it was just um, an alert going on, you know, in my head. Mm -hmm. um, and so you tell me it's normally quiet. What goes, to, um, you know, what goes through your mind for the, you know, the future when you, when you see something like that's coming, you know, literally down the street from you? Yeah, I mean, I just wonder, like, it was it gang affiliated? Was it something related to maybe drug war? Somebody owing money? You just never know. You know, people here are very calm. It's very quiet, but you just never know in the future what can happen. Uh, someone else was telling me that recently there's been new apartments being built uh, around here and since then um, some, some crime has been you know kicking up there's been more um, fire trucks coming through and all have yes. you seen anything like that yeah I mean there definitely has been a lot of gentrification um, all over this no whole area you see buildings being built left and right um, and there definitely has been a lot more fire trucks coming in through through the block a lot. And I mean, we have it down the street as it is. So, I mean, it's very common to see it. But because ever, ever since those apartment buildings were built? Yeah, it's been okay. picking up more. Mm -hmm. it's, Sorry, I keep... Uh, spell your name. Yeah, Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, P-O-N-C-E. Um, tell me what you have. So today, uh, this evening at about 11.35, officers responded to an ADW shooting call at 5020 Hesby Street uh, and officers uh, responded to a multi-victim shooting. Uh, we have uh, four victims at all in all uh, right now. Uh, two victims are deceased. Uh, one is still at scene, one was transported and we have two other uh, victims that were transported to local hospitals. Uh, right now we have our uh, Operations Valley Bureau homicide. Uh, team has responded and they're conducting the on-scene investigation. Officers have uh, canvassed the scene for witnesses, uh, any additional evidence, uh, and we could use the public's help in this. We do believe this is an isolated incident. We don't have uh, any indication that this is uh, widespread or uh, very unusual for this area and actually uh, year to date for the North Hollywood community, uh, very few shootings overall this year. Uh, so we don't have right now this tied to anything else or uh, want to raise alarm in the neighborhood, but it is concerning uh, that we had this shooting. And any help from the public, we would appreciate uh, either for Crime Stoppers, uh, they can call LAPD and re remain anonymous. Uh, and that's about all we have right now. Okay. Uh, one last question. There's a lot of uh, evidence technicians and things like that. Is, that. is that unusual or is this typical for a shooting of anywhere you would see? Well, I think when we have uh, four victims, and definitely that we have two deceased, uh, we do have quite a bit of evidence. It's a large crime scene uh, to process. That's not unusual to ensure that uh, we get one chance to investigate this and investigate it right. Uh, and that's what the public expects. That's what we expect out of our people. Uh, we're fortunate that we have the resources here with the Los Angeles Police Department, so we'll put all those resources to work to solve this crime and, and seek out our perpetrators and bring them to justice. Uh, we do have weapons at scene. Uh, I'm going to let that uh, rest with the investigators uh, as it's uh, critical to the investigation that we uh, keep some of that. Uh, but we do have weapons at scene at this time, and those will be collected and processed, yes. Okay. Uh, name thing again, that's right. Your name and thing. Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, P-O-N-C-E, and I'm the patrol commanding officer for here at North Hollywood Division. And do, do we know, like, the genders of these victims? The uh, victims, so right now our victims are uh, described as males, 
uh, between the ages of 20 and 30, and right now they have all been identified as male blacks. Lastly, do you, um, any suspect description? I do not have any suspect description, and we do not know if some of our victims may in fact be suspects or, or vice versa. So um, it's an ongoing investigation. We hope we have some more information uh, either in the early or morning hours or later tomorrow for you. Lastly, was this using random or did they possibly need a suspect? I don't have that information at this time. And nobody's outstanding. You're not looking for anyone at this. Uh, not the investigation hasn't led us to uh, identify or look for anybody, but it's early in the investigation and ongoing. And if we certainly need the public's help, though, uh, if somebody should know something, or if we develop that, we need uh, certainly the media's help or the public's help. Uh, that's how we solve our crimes. So thank you very much.